Hello friends. So today I'm here to talk to you about my first week um, with guided reading with a purpose. So the first week, um, our focus is character to learn characters and setting. And the theme is kind of back to school rules and routines. So I use this um, in whole group to um, build their reading comprehension and their listening comprehension. And then hopefully, because they're first graders, once they're reading, they can transfer these comprehension strategies over to their own reading. So um, this session that, or what I'm about to share with you in my classroom, we typically spend between 30 to 40 minutes doing this block. Um, it's one of the first things we do in the morning after a little bit of morning um, phonics and movements and stuff like that. This is the first thing we sit down and collaborate on together. So week one, um, so on Monday mornings, I send home this Parent Connect letter and it tells the parents what we're gonna be learning about and reading, um, characters and setting, for example, um, the stories that we're gonna be reading and the standard that we're touching on. Um, in my classroom, I have a huge pocket chart um, much like this black one, but it's one of the really big ones. And the tippy top, um, I always put the posters of what we're gonna be focusing on for the week. So um, to kick this unit off, we meet up front by a pocket chart and I play a little activity called What's in My Bag? So I just bought a bag at the dollar store, glued this little piece of paper on top, and inside are a bunch of characters from stories. And I start taking the characters out and show them a picture. Oh, this is Farmer Brown. They may not know who Farmer Brown is. Um, this is a mouse, a cookie. And I put them on a chart right behind me, blank chart. And then once we have all the characters out, Johnny Appleseed, I talk to them about what do all of these um, cards have in common. And hopefully they could say they are characters from a story. So here's a picture. Um, one year I taped them onto chart paper um, to share with you. So that's how I introduce characters to the children. Then we go back to our seats and we glue the song that I wrote. Um, one of my favorites, it's to Baby Shark, the tune. Um, and then we sing it. And so we sing the song and then we start our first story. So the first story that I read to the children is the Mean Jean, the Recess Queen. It's great for back to school. It has a lot of um, teachable strategies in here about just behavior, recess behavior, how to um, treat one another. We go through this story and um, we do have those discussions. And then um, afterwards, we talk about good and uh, good recess choices and bad recess choices. And um, I, again, have, I actually have two. I have a rolling cart and a permanent chart. So I have space for both of these. So good choices, bad choices. And I read to the children a card, climb up the slide while others are going down. And we sort out these activities. Um, then, as you can see behind me, I ask him, who are the characters in the story? And they start telling me and I put these picture cards up. On day one, I don't talk about setting because I want to introduce that another day. So we just do the characters from the story. And then we do a little paper activity where they go back and they just draw a character from the story. Um, this comes with a lot more. So if you have more advanced learners or you want to differentiate, I like to, I tend to give way too much. I've actually been rated down for that, which I think um, is funny, but um, since I have a daughter with special needs, I realize that um, children, and I'm a teacher, come in many different levels and you need to have choices. So that's why I put too much in there. Um, but then I've done where the kids pick which character they wanna make, um, Katie Sue or me and Jean, and we hang those up. So we also come and write a few sentences together. These are um, just pictures of things that I've done in my class. And then there's a little writing extension too. Um, they make really cute bulletin board activities. So that's day one. There is some other things like I told you. There's um, the recess queen vocabulary cards you can sort out, lots of other things. Um, so then day two, we do what's in my bag again, but this time um, it's the setting. So I pull the cards out. And again, put them on paper or chart. So we have a baseball diamond, 
um, the playground. I put real pictures on here, the woods. And then we talk about what do these cards all have in common? And we um, talk about how their places and that in a story, we call that the setting. So um, here's a, just an example card of the setting from my classroom. And then we sing our setting song. Uh, it's sung too, if you're happy and you know it. And we glue it in our marble book. And then this story, um, the reread on day two is shorter. It's um, David Goes to School. So this cute little book about David going to school. And then after we read this story, we talk about the characters because we learn characters on day one and the setting. And we put these little cards out. Um, and sometimes they think of more that I don't have in these cards and we just plop sticky notes up there. Um, I also have like a heading um, card for every story. You can see the recess queen back here has a heading and lesson plan guide. Um, so some of the other things um, you can do with this story is the good and bad choices, this little chart right here. So David made some good choices, some bad choices. So we sort those out as well. And this again comes with a little um, craft activity if you wanted to do it. We blow it up on 11 by 17 paper and we write um, some things that David can do to make better choices. So sit down, line up, raise your hand, etc. So that is day two. Um, day three, we read the story Miss Nelson is Missing. This is an older story. I love it. Miss Nelson um, decides to take a leave of absence. She's really not missing because her kids are being stinkers. And she sends in Miss Viola Swamp, who is really Miss Nelson disguised. The kids, the ending of the story is so fun because the kids always um, can't believe that it's really the same teacher. So again, very repetitive, okay? We're, re we're practicing characters and setting now. Um, so we put our cards out. We also sing the character song and the setting song, which are great movement breaks and um, just you know, different style teaching breaks, auditory. Um, then we do a little compare and contrast of Viola and Miss Nelson, and we sort the cards. So which which teacher had story hour? Which one was a substitute? Which one was missing? So just little cards like that. And I can share with you here is a picture of the two charts that I had in my room. After, you could make Viola or Miss Nelson. So I would write just a few sentences down about each one. They would help me. And then um, we made the characters. And here's an example of that, too. Um, just so you can see, too, here's a character worksheet. I have them with um, lines and then some that are just pictures. So if your kids aren't quite ready for words yet, you could do that as well. All right, day four is the story, Chrysanthemum. I love any Kevin Hankey story. Uh, this story is about a little girl who gets teased because of her name. So we kind of talk about treating people the right way and you know accepting each other and differences and so on. So on this one we do, um, there's a vocabulary sort and characters and setting. And I will say, I don't always do all of them, I do, you know, what my class needs that year or if I have time. Another thing I do is I get this set up, for example, this vocabulary. And if children are working at their seat on something independently and a few kids finish up, I just sit in that chair up front and we start working on this together, almost like a fast finisher activity. Towards the end of the year, I leave them up and then fast finishers can go do the charts by themselves. And they love it because they get to be the teacher and pretend like they're the teacher. Um, this one also has a cute little paper topper craft for Miss Chrysanthemum. And here's an example of what I was telling you um, with the no lines. They would just draw a picture and maybe label a word if they could. The final um, story that I read on Friday is called Lily's Purple Plastic Purse. It is also written by Kevin Hankey. It's an adorable story about a little girl who brings her plastic purse to school and disrupts the class. But before I continue on further, if you're on IGTV, um, you're gonna wanna go to the description and click the link to the YouTube video if you wanna see more, because it only lets me record for 10 minutes and I'm almost there. So anyways, this story, um, 
Then we talk about Lily and Mr. Slinger, who's the teacher. Um, we sort characters and setting like before. And this one also comes with um, a comparison chart to about the characters Lily and Mr. Slinger. So um, Chocolate Milk, who has chocolate milk, who's sharp as a tack, who has pointy pencils. Um, and then we just sort those character cards out too together. They could also um, make Mr. Slinger or Lily. And here's an example with the children writing a little bit about each one. So um, I do have an example for you of some character activities that actually first graders have completed. So um, that is a character and on the back here I have a setting. So they talk about the where and the when in this setting. So this is week one. There are a few other fun extensions that I love to do on this week. So one thing um, I wanted to try to do was kind of set the stage for the day. And so every day um, I wore a different hat to be a special character. So the kids crack up when they come in because um, I would be wearing this hat. And it's kind of funny, this is Clifford. If you don't know, if you're a newer teacher, <laughs> he's not as um, famous as he used to be when I first started teaching. And a lot of kids don't know who that red dog is, which was kind of funny when I first started wearing that. I bought um, Fly Guy and I had the Pigeon. Um, and these I bought on Etsy and you don't need these. I'm just sharing because it's sort of something fun. Pete the Cat. And I do have uh, Elephant or Piggy or an Elephant, but Charlie, my daughter, hijacked that one. So I'm not really sure where that's at right now. So that's, I start that Monday. Then Tuesday, I start after, or Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, after we've learned setting, I went to the dollar store and got some goodies to display settings all over um, their tables. So basically, I put just a few things at each table and they come in and they kind of look. And then we talk about what setting, where do you think we would be with all those supplies that are at your table? So I'm gonna share an example for you. So I went to the dollar store and I got like a cat toy and a dog bone, um, this container with dog bones and a dog bowl, and this and this cat toy were some of the things I had. You could even just display one setting and see if they can guess where you're at. And that one would be maybe a pet store, it could be your house. Um, I have the funniest one that we do, which they think is a who, is I get toilet paper rolls and you can just bring them from home and then bring them back. Um, I bought a shower cap and curlers and so the bathroom. They think the bathroom's funny, of course, and it gets their attention right away. Okay, so then the final thing that I want to talk about is um, during this week, I have a little cumulative project. Now, I'm not a huge fan of homework. I'm just going to say that out loud. Uh, I'm a mom of seven children, so to come home and have projects or um, homework, it's just a lot. And I feel like the kids work so hard during the day that they need that break at night. Uh, but I do love this project, so I'm just going to share it with you. I've done it some years and haven't done it some years. Um, but basically, you give the kids a brown paper bag and they go home and um, put something in it. So it could be a setting or a character and they have to read you some clues and you have to guess what's in the bag. So it's pretty simple. Um, I do have a little letter that goes home for that. And here's an example of uh, a little boy and he had underwear on his head and his character was Captain Underpants. And boy, did they think that was hilarious. So this week is rules and routines with a focus on characters and setting. By reading five different stories, they've been exposed to amazing literature. Um, they now know what a character is in a story and the setting is in a story. Um, they can sing the character and setting song. We just have a blast and they get excited every day to see, you know, what story we're going to read, um, what character I'm going to be. It's just a super, super fun week. So um, this is part of Guided Reading with a Purpose, which is a year long bundle, but I'm going to come on every week and share with you week by week kind of what I'm doing. And this one's pretty simple, characters and setting. Um, they do get more complicated as the year goes on, but I can tell you that 
Uh, my kids love it and we are super smart first graders by the end of the year and have great comprehension strategies. So I hope you have a great day and stay tuned for more videos like this.